Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Mipple University on the Dice Tower. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Monstrosity the Card Game. Game designed by Chris Sahinak and Sean O'Malley and published by 3 to 4 Games. We are using a prototype copy of the game and so the rules and components may not be final. Let's get to the table. Monstrosity is a card game in which players will try to cobble together their own monster from parts that they find to make the best monster ahead of the other players. Players will gain parts or play actions in search of making the best monsters that meet their heart condition. The game ends once a player has constructed and powered up a monster worth 15 or more points and the player with the highest scoring monster wins. To set up the game, shuffle the heart cards and then deal three face down to each player. Each player views their hearts, chooses the one they want to keep, and then places it face down in front of them. The heart card shows the criteria in terms of the types of monster parts that a player must use in order to complete the game. Some hearts have more difficult objectives on them than others, but those will be worth more points. After choosing hearts, shuffle the main monstrosity deck and then deal each player seven cards face down. These represent the player's hand or lab as it's referred to in the game. Set the rest of the monstrosity deck near the dumpster card on which you'll place the discard pile and place the two bonus ribbons, first to assemble and first to power, off to the side. These are awards which will be worth bonus points during the game. Give each player a helper card, choose a first player, and you're ready to play. Monstrosity is played in a series of turns, and each turn thematically represents one day in the construction of your monster. When you see text in the game which refers to a day, that represents one turn. On your turn, you may take one action out of the five available actions. Seize the day, assemble, power up, go freegan, or trash day. To assemble, take a body part card which is already in your hand and then place it face up on the table into your monster. A body part is a card which shows one of these icons, the little man, and it shows you which type of body part this is. A head, a torso, a left or right arm, or a left or right leg. There is no requirement to have your parts match colour in any way, as long as you have one of each part. Parts do not need to join, and so you can build all five of the appendages before building a torso if you wish. If you assemble a part of a type that you already have, discard the one already on the table by placing it face up on top of the dumpster. If the part you discarded was modified in any way, such as with an upgrade card, which we'll cover in a minute, all upgrades are placed under the body part, and the body part will be on top of the dumpster. The first time you completely construct your monster with one of each of the six body parts, you must reveal your heart card face up to all other players, and this will show them the objective that you're trying to meet. The first player to do this also receives the first to assemble bonus card, which will be worth one extra point at the end of the game. The seize the day action has three steps, all of which are optional and which may be taken in any order. You may draw one card from the deck into your hand. You may play one card from your hand which is not a body part and not a power card. And you may discard one card face up to the top of the dumpster. You have a hand limit of 7 and so if you've drawn above 7 you must discard down. In the basic game there are three different types of cards you may play in this phase. Action, Sabotage, or modifiers which include upgrades and degrades. To take an action, discard it to the top of the dumpster and resolve the text as written. Upgrades or degrades are attached to body parts and those body parts can belong to any player. This allows you to play degrades on opponents. Some upgrades are restricted on what type of body part they may be connected to and others have no restrictions but they may never be attached to torsos. Upgrades or degrades add or deduct points from the score value of the card. Sabotage cards may only be played on opponents and they always result in the player losing a body part. Any modifiers attached to those cards are also lost and they are discarded, modifiers first, then body parts, then the sabotage on top. 
Another way to gain cards is to go Freegan, and a player who does this announces, I'm going Freegan, and takes the top body part or power card from the dumpster into hand. This action may not be taken to gain a sabotage action or modifier. Another way to get cards is to do Trash Day, and here the player may discard any three cards in any order, and then draw two cards from the deck into hand. The final action is to power up, and this action will trigger the end of the game when it's first done. To do this, the player takes a power card, showing a yellow number and the word power from hand, and plays it face up onto the table. This action has three prerequisites. You must have played a complete six part monster face up onto the table. That monster must meet the requirements on your heart card, which of course is now also face up. Here, for example, the monster needs at least three red parts and gets an optional bonus for having two red arms or two red legs. Thirdly, the total points value of your monster, including heart points and the power card you've just played, must be 15 or higher. Here, the parts alone are worth 11, the heart is worth 3, including the optional bonus, and the battery is worth 1 for a total of 15. The first player to take this action gains the first to power your monster bonus, which is worth an additional point, and triggers the end of the game. That player's game is over, and all other players get one special turn called the All-Nighter. In the All-Nighter, the player may do each of the following once each in any order. They may draw one card, either from the deck or going Freegan. They may play one non-body part, non-power card from hand in the same way as the Seize the Day action. The only restriction is that an animated monster is immune to sabotage. They may play one body part card from hand into their monster, and if they also meet the requirements, they may play a power card to bring their monster to life. After doing this, all players who have brought their monster to life add up their total scores, including any ribbon bonuses that they gained, and the player with the highest score wins. If tied, the first monster to be animated breaks the tie. Once you're familiar with the basic rules of monstrosity, you can add in some of the advanced variants to vary your play. You can use the more advanced Heart of Gold Heart, where you get no bonus points, but every time you throw out a body part that someone else picks up out of the dumpster, you gain a bonus two points. You'll have to secretly keep track of this as the game goes on. You may use the versatile blue limbs variant, where you can swap a blue limb onto its non-preferred side. This may only be done at the time of assembly, and reduces the score on that limb by one point. The inbred variant grants you three bonus points if all of your body parts are the same colour. And the heart variant grants you these additional bonus points if that body part is the same colour as your heart. You may shuffle in these special items. These are modifiers like upgrades and degrades and can be played on any non-torso body part in the same manner. These each have a symbol on them, which can further be combined if they match the symbol on your heart. If the special item is played as an upgrade and you match, you gain an extra point. And if it's played as a degrade but it matches, then you'll gain one point instead of losing one. There is also a 2 versus 2 team variant, in which all players will still create their own monsters, but players will be trying to help their teammate sitting opposite build the best monster they can. The team with the highest combined score will win the game. And that's how to play Monstrosity the card game. We hope you enjoyed this video. When we film this video, Monstrosity is going to Kickstarter, so we'll put the link in the description below when it is live, so you can check it out. If you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time!